Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to see the overview of Power BI and MySQL project. And our name of project is Car Sales Dashboard. And whatever you are seeing in front of your screen, the dashboard, this will be our final output, which is built in Power BI software. Right? And this is, uh, we can say, a beginner to advanced level dashboard, I can say. So we will start from begin beginners and uh, we will end up with preparing some advanced KPIs and advanced charts in this particular dashboard. Right? And this dashboard is completely dynamic, which is operated by using different slicers or we also call them as filters. There are also some interactive filters available, which I will show you in the upcoming part of this video. All right. So before moving ahead, I will uh, I will show you how the dashboard is operated by using different filters over here. So you can see on the left hand menu, navigation menu, we have a body style, dealer name, the transmission and the engine types. OK, so if you see with respect to the body type or we can say what is the body type of car, if it is SUV, you can see the values are changing with respect to that. If you want to see for sedan, then we can see that uh, entire values for sedan as well. So if you want to see by dealer name, you can see that if you want to see by transmission, that is if you want to see it by manual or if you want to see by auto, th those options are available. Similarly, if you want to see for overhead engine or double overhead engine, with respect to that also you can you know analyze and take a deep dive in the data and derive some important insights for our customer or for our user all right and you, if you can see uh, if you closely see there are different different aspects or different different objects which i have used or different different charts i have used which are very very much important and which gives us the multi-directional insight of that particular business so let's take an overview and see what are the different charts which i have used on this particular dashboard so at the top you can see this is a kpi bar which we are having and this is a high level kpi bar you can see it is not an, a simple kpi which i have built here so you can see we have a year to date sales over here and with respect to that it gives us the current year sales and for those current year sales here you can see we have here uh, what is the difference between current and prior year sales? What is the percentage increase or decrease? That is, we, we called it as year on year growth. And with respect to that, customer also will have, or they also wanted to see what is the month to date sales. Okay. So you can see in one single KPI, there are four insights which are taken from this particular dashboard. So this is for year to date sales. Then we have the same for average price. We also have it for the number of cars sold in this particular year and uh, the other insights which you can take that is year on year increase and if you can notice if it is increasing it is given in green color if it is decreasing here you can see it is automatically changing in red color okay and this entire thing is dynamic okay you don't have to go ahead and change any or you have to change color manually to do this okay whenever we or operate the filters or whenever the values are changing from negative to positive or positive to negative the colors will be changing with respect to that we called it as conditional formatting and this is some advanced conditional formatting all right we have used some different formatting functions as well and at the top you can see that there is a date range so date range is dynamic here so whenever the new date is added the similar date will be taken over here like that is what is the date ranging of this particular date okay so you can see it is for 2020 and 2021 data entirely it is present the next you can see here we have shown the year to date sales weekly trend okay so means how the business is performing weekly and for this current year and so this is the weekly trend there are some highs and lows in this particular chart and from with respect to that customer can take the particular insight from here so here one more thing here you can see i have highlighted the maximum point over here right it means that what is the maximum sales in this entire year for that particular week okay so you can see in the 50th week the sales was what 15.5 million which is the highest sales done in this particular week and if you change with respect to let's say if you want to see for see then you can see the values are changing with respect to that and so similarly uh, let's say if you want to see for manual transmission okay so you can see the values again changing if you want to see it for dealer name let's say you want to see for this dealer so you can see the maximum was in 37th week okay so in this way the value is dynamic and it will take the dynamic position with respect to the highs and lows in that particular chart all right the next we are showing here the pie chart which gives us the total sales by the body style okay so i have not shown here the 
uh, or the requirement was not to show the data labels over here so it is requirement was to show it in the form of tooltip so you can see whenever i hover over my mouse you can see the tooltip shows us what is the body style and what is the year to date sale and what is the percentage of total sales into that okay so this was for body style the same is for the body color okay so with respect to different colors how many cars are sold you can see for pale white it is uh, you know uh, like 47 percent of sales is done all right similarly if you if you if you see the different charts over here which are there the year to date cars sold by dealer region okay so there are uh, six to seven regions are there uh, from where we have taken the data and which is shown on this particular dashboard and it is from united states so with respect to that we are seeing or we are getting an idea of which is the best performing region and for that particular region how we can take an insight from here okay similarly if you want to see the region or we can say if you want to see the details of austin region let's say so if you can cl if you click on austin region you can see the entire chart or entire dashboard is giving us an insight for austin region okay you just have to click here so these types of filters are called as interactive filters okay when you click on that it will show up for all the charts right similarly here you can see the company wise sell trend is there so for different companies how what is the average price of that particular car how many cars are sold in this particular year what is the sales done for that year and what are the percentage of year to date sales percentage and here you have seen that there are some data bars which we are using which is uh, a conditional formatting again and it gives as an idea uh, or by looking only we can see which is the best performing car and with respect to that uh, you know the business uh, can take some uh, decisions which is the best performing which is the least performing cars into their particular store or their particular uh, we can say showrooms okay so likewise here also these are the number of charts different charts which is present here here you can see this is uh, a details tab so from here we can navigate to details tab which will give us each order details or we can see each car details one by one or row by row and you can filter it with respect to different styles okay and we are going to design or we are going to make use of mysql queries mysql database to validate all the values which we are having here and we will be deriving or we will be firing some complex to advanced queries okay or we some basic queries will be also there and some advanced queries will be also there which will be used to derive the results which are present onto this dashboard or whatever it is there with respect to our customer requirement okay so this is all about this particular dashboard and we are going to design this dashboard from start to end and that will be uploaded soon on my channel so stay tuned and i request you to turn on your notification bell so you will get a notification whenever i upload this particular entire dashboard and i request you to like this particular video subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video where i will design this complete dashboard see you in the next one guys thank you